Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we are back in the Conqueror. And we're going to have ourselves one of those matches that uh, goes horribly, horribly wrong in almost every way possible. So hopefully you guys are ready. It's going to be a doozy. Uh, but as you can see, we are on Sleeping Giant and we spawned on the different side than I normally spawn on. We spawn on the opposite side. Uh, we're still in the north, but we're going to be heading over towards A. Um, now, I've got some, some things to say about my teammates in this one, but it's not what Action you think. Stations. So, if you're interested, stay tuned. Also, I am feeling much better today. The last couple days have been brutal. I've done more recording in the last two days, and it's just it's a heck of a bog when you're trying to get so much done uh, every single day. So, today much better mood everything's going great so uh thank you guys for those of you who have been saying uh you hope i start feeling better and all that stuff it's just one of those things you get overworked you know it's that's it's what it is uh, as you know a youtuber everybody likes to think that uh, you don't really have a whole lot of pressure but actually for me it's the opposite for me it's all of the pressure whereas before i was forklift driver right i just go into work i drive forklift all day go home guaranteed paycheck at the end of the day or at the end of the week or every two weeks in my case but anyway um, as a youtuber not so much as a youtuber you control how much you make and by you control how much I make basically the more I put out the more I make does that make me a prostitute <laughs> anyway um, we <laughs> that's wrong I apologize uh, but we're gonna head over to the right I digress. I am feeling a lot better. I'm, I'm joking around at all the good things, so hopefully you guys enjoy. Uh, we're going to push over here to the right. I do have a, or a cruiser with me. I believe it's an Alaska uh, that is right here with me. And uh, I think I figured something out. I think that people see that they're on my team, and they decide to get themselves killed as quickly as possible so that they can watch me play. That's my theory. Maybe I'm wrong. But you guys can let me know in the comments below. By the way, how are you guys doing? I don't get to talk to you guys as much anymore because I'm constantly having to record. But I do still read all of the comments and I respond to quite a few of them. Uh, so hopefully you guys are doing well. I hope everybody's having a, a pretty solid start to the year. I'm doing pretty good. Down to 265 pounds. Woohoo! I'm getting there. I'm getting there. You guys know that uh, in October, it, it was as, as soon as October, or as uh, little as October ago, that uh, I was at 300 pounds, and now I'm down to 265. We're, we're cruising, man. And my blood pressure's been coming down even... Oh my god, hello. It's a gross curve first. Time to get to work, Spartan. Shut up about your weight. No one cares. All right, so his, his secondaries start going off. He's got a Roma out there behind him. Now, we have HE loaded. And watch the first salvo of HE. Now, here's the thing about a, a uh, Conqueror. You've got amazing HE. There we go, hitting him for 8,500, setting a fire. That's going to uh, be extinguished right away. Uh, or no, no, it's he's still burning. Never mind. Uh, but we're going to switch to AP because a lot of people just assume you're only going to fire HE out of the Conqueror. And they do things like this. Now, watch how disgusting the AP can be if you're given a flat broadside. Wait for it. And... Got out and pow! <laughs> Just a little premature on the pow, but you get the point. We're up to 57,000 damage that quick, and uh, he just realized that he fucked up. Uh, but not to be outdone, my Alaska, I, I, you know, this is exactly what I'm talking about. My Alaska has just decided that he don't feel like living much longer and is charging down two battleships. Now, to his credit, he's doing everything he can. But uh, I am going to try and finish this gross curve first off. We didn't have as good an angle that time. We did bounce six rounds. But we still got a good chunk off of him. And I'm looking at the Roma behind it as well because he's still going broadside. And you can see, I don't know if Alaska was trying to ram there or if he's just getting the backside. You, you can see he got another big hit and he actually did ram the gross curve first unsuccessfully. Though gross curve first flooding and he goes down to the Alaska. So... Successful or not, he does manage to take out the Gross Occur first, though he could have done it a lot easier if he just played like a normal person instead of trying to ram people. So, uh, yeah. That being said, the Conqueror is a unique ship. 
in that much like, uh, what is it, the Japanese Azuma. Okay, Japanese Azuma is good enough in a regular role, but as a kiting opponent, there is very few that can match it. And that is what the Conqueror is excellent at. As you're about to witness, we are going to utterly decimate everybody on this side of the map to the point where they quit chasing me, okay? Now, what have I said about kiting? Okay, kiting is a valid strategy. Only as long as people are willing to chase you. Okay, if people do not chase you, kiting isn't working, you need to re-engage. Okay, so here you're going to see me being a little bit careless. Now this is one of the luxuries that the Conqueror affords you uh, over most ships. That super heal that it has and the fact that we have all of the heals with the Nelson build allows us to make stupid mistakes and get punished for it. As you can see, we're taking a lot of extra armor piercing, and then I turn away as I'm getting ready to get my guns loaded, and then once my guns are loaded, we turn back in, we get some more shots, try to get more fires, and so on and so forth, rinse and repeat. But, you've got to be aware of what's going on if you are kiting. Now, as you can see on the map, if you're paying attention, my team pushed their advantage, and they captured C and D. Now, I had to give up this side of the map, right? I can't, I can't fight everybody at one time. I will die. So, by kiting away, I can limit how many times, or how much damage they put on me by getting some distance between us. And on top of that, they're, they're taking hits from my HE, and occasionally I switch to AP, but taking mostly HE shots and getting 15 to 20,000 HE damage, plus setting fires, they get real tired of it real quick. And as you can see, Iowa and uh, the cruiser already turning off. They're like, okay, Alaska and Iowa are like, okay, this guy's kiting away. They're doing the right thing. They're heading into A to protect themselves and get ready to fight the rest of my team. Uh, now, right off the bat, I get a little too excited here. I go broadside and Iowa does smack me pretty good. Well, I guess it must have been the last time. But uh, we get another 20,000. We set a fire and you can see we're up to 120,000 damage. Now, Iowa did just damage con that fire, so we're going to try to get another fire on him before he gets gets away, and uh, that was the one. That was the one where they just punched me real good. But again, with that super healed, you can afford to get a little bit careless from time to time. As long as you're not getting outright deleted, you're going to be okay. And so, as you can see, they punched us, but we get the fire. And because he had already damage con, that one's going to burn for quite a while. Uh, Alaska and Iowa both duck into that island, and that leaves me 1v1 with Aroma. And that is a situation that I am much, much more comfortable with. So as you can see, now that we know that the Roma is the only thing out here, we're going to get ready to turn all the way back in and engage. Now, I don't do it right away because I wasn't sure what the Iowa and Alaska were going to do, and they do take some shots at me over the mountain. Uh, you'll see that in a moment. Now, we get another fire on the Roma. You can see our damage is ticking up. But uh, you should start to see some shots coming from over top of the mountains here in a moment. There you go. Alaska lights up, firing his guns at us. Uh, Iowa shortly follows with the same thing. We're going to try to hit the Alaska over the mountain. That way I don't have to go too much broadside. You know, he's right in the perfect place that my guns can reach and not have to worry about going broadside. Um, and we can stay angled. But... Uh, not a particularly amazing shot by me. We don't actually hit the Alaska, uh, but, you know, you, you're going to miss every shot you don't take. Now, we're down inside 10,000 health, and you got to start thinking, oh my god, Spartan, you're going to get yourself killed. But, notice where my team is, okay? This is one of those things where I don't mind being shot if my team is actually doing something useful. And we get another fire on the Roma. This one's going to stick. And we're going to start turning all the way back in. Uh, we get pretty fortunate there. He got a really bad uh, uh, dispersion roll, which isn't that uncommon, considering we're at relative decent range to the Roma. Uh, but we're about to get our heal back, and we still got another heal after this. So even though we're down to 1,600 hit points, that's going to change real quick when we can reprint our ship. And we get two more fires. So now Roma is on fire, I believe, three times. We've got a Kagero out on my left, which is definitely not what you'd call preferable. But just look at the rate of healing that we have here. We went from 1,500 hit points all the way up to over 20,000 hit points now. 
We're gonna finish with 22,900 hit points, and we still have another heal. Uh, but the good news is the Alaska and Iowa are both preoccupied. We get another fire. I believe they damaged Con to the last fire, so this will be another good fire. We're up to 182,000 damage. The damage is just a ticking away every chance that they think they're gonna do well. Now we did lose one of our turrets. As you, I don't know if you guys noticed that. We did lose one of our turrets, but he's trying to turn in and bow tank us, uh, but we're just setting him on fire. We don't care if he bow tanks us. That's the beauty of the Conqueror. Uh, you don't have to shoot AP at people. The HE is disgusting. It does stupid amounts of damage, and on top of that, gets a lot of fires. Now, at this point, Roma is thinking one thing. I'm just gonna ram this guy and get it over with. Uh, unfortunately for Roma, he's not gonna get the chance. The fires are adding up. I'm about to get three guns loaded and we're shooting straight at the plating on the sides and we do get the good solid penetration with the HE and finish them off. Now we're at 208,000 damage. Our team did everything that they needed to do. They pushed all the way around and we did just enough to hold this side long enough to make that possible. And that's what I like to point out. Now if that Alaska hadn't just gone full potato and tried to ram the guy, he would have he been able to benefit from this too and we could have been a lot more aggressive on this side. But because it was just me versus the Roma, the uh, Iowa, and the Alaska, I had to go into a kiting mode. But that doesn't mean you just f run for the hills and don't do anything. You still continue to put pressure on the enemy. That's what kiting is. Uh, and if done correctly, it is very, very, very valuable for your team. As you can see, with the Roma chasing me, he took himself completely out of play. The Iowa and Alaska can't possibly compete with the rest of my team. Uh, the Z-23 has run off to the edge over there to cap the base, but at, at this point, it's too little too late. We've got a 400-point lead, and he's just not going to be able to swing it in his favor. All he's doing at this point is just living, uh, which is fine by me. We did everything in our power to win this match. We did over 200,000 damage done. We, we definitely let the uh, enemy ships know that we exist. And we still had a heal left, just in case, you know. Uh, but that's where the Conqueror is devastating. It's very good at a lot of things, but it is absolutely devastating as a kiting opponent. And you can see I'm trying to get these shots over the island now. Uh, are we going to be able to take this Alaska out? Come on, baby. Come on. We do get a hit, but just the one. That's a shame. You hate to see it. But Alaska goes down nonetheless. We've got less than 30 points left. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully it was uh, both fun to listen to because I'm not just absolutely miserable while recording. Um, <laughs> that's been a thing that happens every once in a while. I don't know if you guys noticed. Like, when I get super, super busy, especially Mondays, anything that I record on Monday or Tuesdays generally are a bit rough for me just because the over I'm overwhelmed. That's just the way it is. Uh, Mondays I do my... Uh, well, anyway, the game's over. I appreciate you guys uh, watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I know I've enjoyed it. Uh, and we finished pretty well. 208,000 damage, dreadnought, high caliber. Uh, or no, first blood, not even a high caliber. How did we not get a high caliber there? That's weird. But anyway, 2,335 base XP. So if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.